Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church in East Canton, Ohio, continuing to talk about the prospect of finding joy in the midst of sorrow. And we spoke a little bit about Jeremiah and the Book of Lamentations and a little bit about David and uh, his Psalms and a little bit about Job and his situation and the important discovery that he made in the midst of that. A lesser known portion of the Bible and yet one of my favorites is the little book of Habakkuk among the minor prophets. Uh, without going into great detail, let me tell you that Habakkuk was by profession a Levitical singer. It was his job to write praise music to be used in the temple service by the people of Israel in their ongoing relationship with God. And Habakkuk had seen the days when the king led Israel into idolatry and the temple fell into disuse. And then he had seen the rising of a new king who restored the temple worship and not only put a person like him back to work, and going back to work is certainly a thought on most of our minds today, but he not only put Habakkuk back to work, he made it possible, this new king who restored the temple, for Habakkuk to fulfill his calling and do those things that God had put into his heart, which it had been pretty much impossible for him to do for some time. And then he saw the fall due to a foolish decision of that king who had restored his position and the beginning of the drift of the nation back into that state of idolatry, which grieved his heart for all the reasons because of what it meant for the nation and their relationship with God and because of what it meant for himself as a Levitical songwriter and singer. And Habakkuk, in the midst of his trial, disappointment, and frustration, did what should be a very predictable thing. He wrote a song. And uh, if you care to check it out, there are several contemporary versions of Habakkuk's song uh, in circulation today, easy to find. And I'll give you just this portion of the song that Habakkuk wrote from the third chapter, verses 17, 18, and 19. Though the fig tree should not blossom, and there be no fruit on the vines, Though the yield of the olive should fail, and the fields produce no food, though the flock should be cut off from the fold, and there be no cattle in the stalls, yet I will exult in the Lord. I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he has made my feet like hinds' feet, and makes me walk on the high places. In his song, Habakkuk remembers that even when things are bad, God is good. And more importantly, he remembers this. We, we hear this. He has made my feet like hind's feet to walk on high places. We don't always quite capture it. What it means is that most of us are ill-prepared, ill-equipped to walk the dangerous path navigated by the mountain goats and deers who hop from tiny ledge to tiny ledge and defy death. Most of us are just not equipped or prepared to walk those paths. But God will give his people feet that will do the job. In this time, peril, problem. God is still good, and he will make our feet suitable for the path that we are called to walk, and we will go forth in his strength. If you would pray with me. 
Father God, give us the spirit of your servant Habakkuk and help us, Lord, to know that you will suit our feet for the path that is before us and help us to walk it in the strength that you provide. We ask this also in Jesus' name. Amen.